Sloan Eye meteorologist Jay Bursch back with Sloan Eberly. This is our first edition of Imagine It. We're at the Hurricane Chamber. And today, a very timely topic, hurricanes and the winds they can produce. We had Katrina about five years ago, just got past the anniversary for that. This weekend, Hurricane Earl is uh, getting closer and closer to the east coast of the U.S., so a great way to safely demonstrate the wind power within a hurricane. Absolutely, and so we're only demonstrating the wind power of a hurricane here. We're missing that crucial element, water, um, that you usually see. And um, we know that hurricanes lose power as they reach land. Um, but let's step inside our hurricane okay. chamber here. That's, that's why the tie is tucked in, by the way. <laughs> okay, here we go. And so right now you can see on our screen here, the wind's about 30 miles per hour. So a gale force wind, not even a strong gale force wind. Okay. We're gonna crank this up. And normally for the visitor, we get to about a category one hurricane, which is about 100 miles per hour. Okay. We're gonna crank this up to 159 miles per hour. That's a category five hurricane. just amazing if you could imagine a sustained wind like that and going sideways and hitting your house your well, rooftop and hurricanes are generally 500 miles across I mean so it's not that yeah. hold small space throughout a whole area that is amazing so again visitors that was a category that was a category five okay we saw. normally which, a visitor can come in and see category one which is okay. still a hundred miles per hour which is still pretty intense <laughs> and that that may be a little too intense for most uh, visitors <laughs> yeah. here so but a great demonstration uh, that's why people of course get out of the way of hurricanes and they they go to some other locations so just to get out of that uh, wind and you mentioned too the other aspect the water yes with hurricanes <laughs> all right well thank you very much for sloan eberly i'm meteorologist jay Bershback. we're at the imagination station this was imagine it <laughs>